The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create sidebars inside of a Microsoft Word document. Typically, you would see this information inside of a newsletter or inside of a magazine. If your goal is to add additional text to a document in that type of format and you decide that you want to highlight an article, you can do that by using what's called a stacks sidebar. In this case, what I'm going to do is show you how to add that sidebar into your document and of course you can come up with other creative uses for yourself. The first thing that I'm going to do is click on the insert tab and I'm going to look in the text group. Next I'm going to click on the quick parts button. When this is selected the next area that I'm going to select is called the building blocks organizer. Once this opens I like to go ahead and sort this area by name. So I'm going to click on the name column so I want it sorted alphabetically and I'm looking specifically for the stacks sidebar. As I move down the screen I notice that this is it so I click it. Here it tells you that it's going to be a right aligned sidebar with horizontal accent lines. Next I'm going to click on insert. Here over to the right you can see now that I have the ability to go in and add in supplemental text. This can also be a really good place to add in let's say telephone numbers, any information that you want to highlight. So in this particular case I might say something like recyclable and if I were to go in and press that information. When I hit the enter key you'll notice that it keeps adding in additional data. But if my goal is to put in some content, let's say I want to come in and say so if I decided that I wanted to put that information in there I could and if there's another one that I wanted to add I could also go in and do that. My point is you're able to use this section for that information. Another piece of it is just having text that you just want to highlight. I'm going to go in and just put in that kind of information and you can see that it gives me the ability to go in and add that data. The second thing is you'll notice this hanging indent so if you want to get rid of that you can just highlight the information look inside of the home tab in the paragraph group and click on this command you'll notice that you're going to select line spacing options and under indentation you'll just go to the special area and select none when you click on OK it removes that indent. 